Well, hi and welcome to Winton Wetlands. I have returned for a bit of fun, a bit of relaxation with just taking photographs and a bit of filming of wildlife, having a, an awesome adventure. That's what it's all about for the next two days. I turned up at daybreak this morning and caught up with Brian, who's a, a local wild, wild, <laughs> wildlife photographer that I've gotten to know, so a new friend. And uh, we had an awesome morning at a new location that we both met at uh, last time that I was here. I'll go down there and just sit on the log and see what happens. Yeah. Water, right? yeah. yeah, just nice at the moment. It's very... yeah. 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 such a great place to go and photograph uh, all different types of birds including raptors so I'll be going back there in the morning by myself probably and just uh, just enjoying uh, all the things that are going on over there uh, there's also some yellow footed antichinus if I go further back down along the shoreline and uh, we'll probably do that uh, later in the morning but at the minute I've just set up a little stage like I did last time I had so much time to kill <laughs> six hours before the yellow foots were coming back out in the afternoon I made these little models out of cicadas well I've refined that at home and uh, dressed them all up yeah, had a bit of fun this is the end result I have blue tacked this down <laughs> ready for the yellow-footed antichinus to come out of this tree. There's a couple of females that are nesting in there, have a communal nest. So that'll be about from five o'clock onwards till the sun starts to go down when they come out. I've got a lot of time to kill. I'm going to walk along the shoreline for a couple of hours and then come back up here because it's only maybe one o'clock now. So yeah, I've got it all set up, ready to go. A little bit of honey in the offering bowl there. So that's the sort of scene that I've set up. A cicada offering to the gods, the yellow foot is uh, some uh, honey. All right, I think I've waffled on enough. It's time for me to get down there and have an exploration of the shoreline down here, of uh, the wetlands, and uh, have a bit of fun.
show me a place where I can stay. You made some phone calls already. I am exhausted. <laughs> it is 6.30. <laughs> it was another really long... I'm laughing because I'm exhausted as well. That's Itchy Boots. Been watching her for a couple of years. She's a YouTuber, uh, she, a Dutch YouTuber who rides her rally bike all over the world. At the minute, she's going across the desert like nothing, just desert, sand. Uh, amazing, uh, courageous woman. And the reason why I'm exhausted along with her is I got up at 3.30 this morning to be able to get up here for sunrise. So it's catching up with me now. I was going along the, sh the shorefront there, photographing, filming a bit, and then yeah, it just hit me. So I'd come back, have a cup of tea, refresh myself, and uh, get ready for going back up at five o'clock, which it almost is. So I just need to make sure that all my uh, batteries and everything are okay and take some extra stuff just to make sure that we don't miss out on anything. Forecast for this morning is overcast up until 8 o'clock, which is only about half an hour away. So it's looking like we're going to have a, pretty much a day like I had yesterday, broken clouds, a bit of sun every now and then. So looking forward to an awesome morning. I'm out here by myself today, but I'm going to soak in the atmosphere, enjoy the moments when they happen. It's just Explore around this area thoroughly.
Well, I have had an awesome morning. It's been fantastic. Walk from where I parked my car along the foreshore all the way up to the point here. There's been so much activity going on. It's been amazing. But because I haven't had the sun out very often, I've just been more filming than anything. Uh, when it came out, I started to be able to get some photographs of different types of birds. Uh, there are so many young grebes here. I've just been amazed by it. All the way up, there's just been probably a hundred all together on this side. And then on this side, I've got the welcome swallow surrounding me now. <laughs> They're all coming in to get some insects. Um, on this side, just here, uh, there's been about 50 odd or so as well. Uh, just in this one little corner, I, I had a group of about uh, 30. But, um, raptors, we had all sorts of things going on. And yeah, I've just been amazed about uh, how much breeding has gone on here. I'm, I'm suspicious that maybe there's been two breeding seasons since uh, when, that, you know, like spring, right up until now, which is, uh, what are we into now, March? Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to swap over to start photographing now. It's not much light, I'm not going to get it for ages, I don't think. But yeah, I want to have a bit more fun. For me, filming is something I have to do and I love it, but it becomes more like work sometimes, which it's starting to do now, than being more fun. So yeah, I want to have a bit of fun. I want to get back in, into photographing, get some action shots of whatever's going on. So this is my setup. So that is uh, my battery set up in that bracket there that I made. I've uh, got the monitor on, it just helps so much. Actually, you know, it, it's a must, you have to have one. Uh, yeah, so everything's uh, tethered into the camera, power, keep it going. Well, the sun's going down on another awesome day. This morning was a little bit on the boring side. There wasn't a lot going on. I did get um, a raptor catching a fish and giving it to its partner. Uh, but this afternoon just blew me away. Finally, I get a female yellow-footed antichinus coming up and getting some honey out of the offering bowl on my little stage. That was just amazing to have that happen. And uh, the kangaroo getting harassed by that willy wag tail was another highlight as well. Just an awesome afternoon. Had a great time up here again, as I always do. And that's all I've got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click on my pretty little face just down the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here at the end of this video. Take it to my channel. I talk about photographing and filming in the forest and open forest environments, birds in flight, all those sort of things. Uh, when I buy cameras and camera equipment, I always give you my honest opinion on them. And uh, when I go on adventures, I always take you with me. So go and have a browse, there'll be something there of interest to I am sure. And always, always remember, 
If you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.